AirDrop lets you quickly share files, maps, web pages, and more between iOS devices and Macs. For AirDrop to work between a Mac and iOS device, you need to be running at least OS X Yosemite on the Mac and iOS 8 on your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. Let's start on the Mac here. In the Finder sidebar, I have an AirDrop section. Within this are all the AirDrop equipped devices that my Mac can see. Down here, just like in Control Center on iOS, I can select whether to let everyone see me on AirDrop or only people in my contacts. I usually leave this set to everyone. One of the benefits of AirDrop is that it lets you share files with anyone else that has an iOS device nearby. You don't need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. When someone does try to send you something via AirDrop, you can always decline. People in your contacts list will appear in AirDrop with their names. Those not in your contacts list will appear with the device name, which for this iPad is Warren's iPad. My personal iPhone and iPad appear here under the name Drew Swanson, because that's what's saved in my contacts. An iOS device will only be available for AirDrop when it's unlocked and active. If I lock this iPad, it'll be removed from the AirDrop window after a couple seconds. Unlock again, and it comes right back. So I'm going to send this photo over to Warren's iPad. When I drop the file here, I get an alert on the iPad asking to either decline or accept the file. I'll accept and the photo is saved and open in the Photos app. Now let's airdrop something from this iPad to my iPhone. I'll go into the Maps app and share a location. To do so, I need to tap the Share button here. And within the airdrop section, any available devices will appear. I'm going to airdrop this location to the iPhone. I get an alert on my iPhone to accept or decline. Accept and the location is opened up in the Maps app on the iPhone. So airdrop is a great option if you need to quickly and wirelessly move a file from an iPad to iPhone or iPad to Mac or vice versa.